Good day to you all of my dudes and all of my fellow summer warriors. This is Master Fija with another episode of Silky Smooth Velvety Voice. Master Fija playing Final Fantasy VI for you, Spot Retro. Last episode, we were trying to do a little bit of uh, Solid Snake espionage action. And uh, after robbing about three or four people of their clothes and most likely also their lives, we managed to recruit General Seller onto our team. You know? So now, I guess we're gonna go to Narsh and see if we can meet up with the rest of the crew so that we can uh, awaken that there Esper. Because apparently, the Gastelian Empire is doing some evil junk with some sort of like old technology from that war or whatever that happened a while ago. But um, yeah, let's check out this house, this house first. This here house. Welcome to me house. Can't tell if I'm saying horse or house. Should be someone here, no? Huh. Man, Loki, if you're not robbing people while they're not home, you're not a very good treasure hunter. Probably. Oh, god damn it. There's probably gonna be something important with this place later on. Maybe, like, after the world ends. Spoiler alert. Or maybe it's like. I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's before then. This is just where we meet up with everybody after they, uh, they're done their own separate storylines. I actually completely forgot that they did that in this game, that's pretty cool. It was like really early on in video game history for them to be doing that. Oh man. Whew, this heat, I swear it's this tea that gets me through it. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I gotta say, the Phantom Forest is probably another one of my favorite themes. Awakening, Phantom Forest, um, the orchestra theme, so good. Hmm, after we went into the cellar, or I guess further into the cellar and escaping from South Vagar, that we managed to get a really, really good setup for, um, for General Cellar here, so she's actually pretty much the powerhouse of the team. Okay, so I think I've already, yeah, I've already gone through here when I was, uh, right after picking up Nova from the top of the mountain here, so I should be able to pretty much just run this and not have to worry too much. Actually, on that note, I think I'm going to equip that extra pair of sprint shoes, which I thought I had, apparently not. Steel hand and forearm guard used by knights allows a one weapon wheeler. A wheeler. Wheeler! I'll get you, wheeler. I don't care because I have money. <laughs> oh, funny. That's a Yu Gi Oh reference for anybody who doesn't know my randomness. Sorry, let me try to read in English. Allows one weapon to be held with both hands. Okay, there we go. Uh, hmm. Knight's Code, Bear to Cover Critically Wounded Allies, Increases Wounded Pairs. Mm. This doesn't really need anything, but I should equip General Seller with the Knight's Code since she is using a shield currently. There we go. Knight's Code is pretty much just the uh, item equivalent of a paladin ability from back in uh, FF4. They might have done it in FF3 as well, it's been just so long since I played it. I played the uh, 3DS version back when it first came out. That was probably the single most hyped I had ever been for any Final Fantasy game. That, what is it, the the wind, the wind theme that they use in that one, which is kind of like the main theme for the game, is amazing. And they played it during Quite possibly one of the most beautiful cinematic commercials for a video game I've ever seen. I don't know, just the entire advertising campaign for that game was freaking phenomenal. And the game was great, like, they did they did a complete overhaul on that game. I played um, a, a little bit of a ROM version of the original, that I guess was for, like, the Famicom, because I don't think we ever got the original here in North America. And it was gnarly. Oh my goodness, the characters had almost... Actually, no, straight up, the characters had no backstory, because you pretty much got them all at the beginning of the game when you fall into this pit or something, they're called Onion Knights, right? So, 
Did it start off with just your one character at the beginning just being like a... Uh, I think they're called freelancers. That's what they did in Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy um, 5 and 3, where they're like the characters that have no classes. They're kind of like the equivalent of a squire almost in Final Fantasy Tactics. And you you start off with all four of them at the same time. They pretty much have no backstory. And then you're kind of just doing the whole thing from Final Fantasy 1 again. Which is weird considering the fact that... Um, with Final Fantasy 1, it was more about the world than it was about the characters. The characters were just pieces for extending the plot of trying to revive the world from the... Essentially, the demons that they hit themselves kind of helped to release because they kicked the shit out of Garland. And then he time-traveled back in time as he was dying, I guess, at the beginning of the game. Goes back, sets up a permanent time loop where he becomes essentially the embodiment of chaos and then sends back the four fiends. Um, yeah, so it just does this weird, like, time paradox thing. But it wasn't about the characters, it was about the world. Really, the only character in the whole thing that mattered was Garland himself, right? Like, everybody else was, hey, you can have uh, four interchangeable characters of, I think it was eight classes, or was it white mage, red mage, black mage, monk, uh, thief, and uh, fighter, and then there's the, well, I guess that's only six. And then you've got the secondary classes after you get the rat's tail to Bahamut, and... It wasn't really about them, right? Like, you could have any combination. I've even seen people beat the game with four white mages, for goodness sake. Um, it was about, essentially, the world kind of, like, falling into decay, and you're trying to revive the world from this. And then, the, the thing that I find weird about them going back in the original version of Final Fantasy III to this kind of, like, hey, there's four interchangeable characters, well, not really interchangeable, but like four, they're four of the same character more or less. You can't even really tell that one's a female, I don't think. Um, with these interchangeable classes and all that jive, with not too much of their own character. Um, but just trying to save a world. Like, it worked in Final Fantasy 1, but because Final Fantasy 2 had such, like, actual character-driven story, like, the, the first fight you had at the beginning, you lose one of the characters in your crew, right? And then he ends up becoming evil later, and you have to fight him, and it's a whole story of redemption and all this stuff. And then you have, uh, like, a very, like, evidently female character, which is awesome, considering how, like, uh, limited the graphics were back then. And then you have this love affair between the, the princess of the rebellion um, with uh, your main male character, and then you have these, like, three or four characters that kind of come and go from your team, like, uh, you had um, the last dragoon that was trapped inside of Leviathan, um, who sacrificed himself to let you survive the first attack of the Emperor. Um, there's the um, female leader of the pirate crew that tries to kidnap you, but you end up defeating her crew and she helps you navigate the oceans. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all you got. Oh, and then you've got uh, the uh, you've got the brother of the the prince. Of the rebellion that actually t like points you in the direction of the rebellion at the very beginning with the uh, uh, like the secret code and the kayak and stuff. It's like you get all these really cool characters in the second Final Fantasy, and then like a few years later, I'm totally not even getting through this freaking cave. A few years later, you have Final Fantasy three come out. Everybody's expecting the same level of in-depth characters, and the funny thing is that the most interesting character is like. The bad guy, and I'm not talking about the final bad guy, not Dark Cloud, I'm talking about um, uh, Zeon, Xenon, Zeron, some dude, his name, Xerxes, was it Xerxes? His name starts with a Z, or with an X, which is pronounced as a Z for anybody who knows that. Um, and it's interesting because he's this dark wizard that essentially like freezes the world, aside from that, uh, that wind tower that you're on, that you start off the game on. Um, because he's being trained by some sort of, like, all-powerful magical wizard or something. Him and this, uh, I think it was either one or two other pupils. And out of all of the pupils, he was the only one that wasn't granted the, the uh, gift of immortality. And 
Essentially, the way that he combats this is by freezing the world and trying to unlock the dark warriors and the dark crystals, which ends up opening up the gateway for Dark Cloud, which is the final boss. But the interesting thing about all that is, is that you learn all of these things through other characters, through interactions with uh, different texts and all this stuff, and you... Really, he's got very limited dialogue at the very end of the game. He's not like Garland, where you face him once before, and then he has like a really long-winded dialogue uh, when you face him in the chaos form. He, he really says almost nothing, and you only meet him the one time in the Crystal Tower right before going to his Dark Cloud. But in essence, like, this dude would have been more interesting as a character than all four of the main characters combined in the original Final Fantasy III. Now, I mean, you guys can completely disagree with me. Again, I never played the original all the way through. I only played, uh, like, maybe the first two hours. But if you compare that to, like, the first two hours of Final Fantasy III on the DS, if you're not dilly-dallying, then, uh, you've got, like, a butt-ton of character development during that time, right? You've got the, the main character with the gray hair, and, is wanting to get out and, and uh, discover the world, and then you've got his friend, the dude who becomes a mage, who's being kind of like a bit of a social outcast, and he's depending on the dude with the gray hair a little too much, and then eventually he comes out of his own shell and decides that he wants to leave the village too. Um, then you've got the the knight from one of the local the local guards of a kingdom nearby that. Um, I think he's having like a love affair with the princess or the queen of the area and then he decides that he needs to go out there and figure out what's going on with the world. Um, and then there's a chick who, straight up the only thing I can remember about her character is that she's like compassionate or something. There's a scene in the intro where she's touching a chocobo. I don't know. Anyway, let's, you know, let's, let's focus on Final Fantasy VI for a little bit. I think I'm talking about Final Fantasy III too much. Something comes, something's coming through the wall. Oh jeez, I didn't heal. Oh jeez, I didn't heal. Oh hey, I did heal. What? Tunnel armor. If that thing hits us with its magic, they'll be scrubbing two big scorch blocks off the wall. So what are we supposed to do? Don't worry. I'll try its magic with my runic blade. Runic blade powers activate! And you'll be okay. Just you watch. Okay. Well, let's, uh... No, 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 stop. Runic. Okay. Steel. Hey, an air knife. Nice. Let me go. Magic. You're a blizzard. You're a blizzard, robot. You're a wizard. Robot. A wizard, a wizard robot. Good tonight, wager, once you trade up a little. Oh damn, that's powerful. Do 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 Let's go blizzard again. Um, you probably can't steal a second time, so you just you just keep doing your thing there, there Loki. You keep trying your best, okay? You just you just doing your best. Holy Christ, that was a lot of damage actually. 317 from physical damage. Good job, Loki. I am the Lord of the Metal after all. Damn, that was actually a pretty easy boss battle. I guess Loki at this point would be pretty over level for this part. I'm probably supposed to be around level 10. Looks like we're finally in the clear. In the clear. Did that... Was that robot sent by the Empire? Did he know that we were supposed to be there? Choose a scenario, Koopo. Koopo, poo 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 Let's go for Nova. What dire fate has befallen Nova, who leapt from the raft after fight with Ultros? Ooh. I like that name, Ultros. I just really like that character, to be honest. He's so funny. He's one of the comedic characters. He's pretty much the Final Fantasy VI equivalent of uh, Gilgamesh, which, by the way, of, of all time, he is my favorite, like, kind of like joke character sub boss dude. 
because he shows up in so many different games. I think um, he shows up in the remake of Final Fantasy 1, uh, Dawn of Souls on the Game Boy Advance. Um, he shows up in uh, one of the bonus dungeons that has all of the, um, the uh, four demons or whatever, the four, four fiends from Final Fantasy 3, which is actually the first time that I saw them because um, the, the DS version of Final Fantasy 3 came out like maybe five or six after the, um, Dawn of Souls. So you see him there and he's looking for Excalibur and when you beat him he actually gives you Excalibur which is hilarious because that's well, that's what he was doing in uh, in the Final Fantasy... Let me show him first. Final Fantasy 5, yeah. That's what he's doing in Final Fantasy 5. Also working for X Death, which is one of the one of the coolest characters too. Um, I didn't like how he died. I didn't like his final form, to be honest. Oh, hey, I'm actually a tree. Let me turn into this weird demon thing from another dimension. I hope I'm not going too ahead of myself here. Probably gonna get my ass kicked if I go too far. Um, anyway, so Gilgamesh shows up in Dawn of Souls. Uh, final Fantasy V was his original game. Um, he shows up in Final Fantasy VIII, which is another game I still have to play of the original ten. Um... And then he shows up, I think in one of his most interesting roles, in Final Fantasy XII. Also looking for Excalibur. Or no, he's not looking for Excalibur, he's looking for a bunch of like uh, rare weapons all across... Uh, uh, I guess it's Ivalice? I don't remember if they call it Ivalice in that place. It's the world of Ivalice because it's made by this one director who makes fantastic games. Same dude who did Final Fantasy. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy. The same dude who did Final Fantasy Tactics. Ah, oh my goodness, so good. Um, yeah, and every time that he fights you, he's fighting you with a new fake sword. It's so good. I wonder what good old Nova's looking for right now. And the cabbage rabbits. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go into the, the inventory here and, uh, figure out how to do his, his rage mode or whatever again. Fist rage. Fist mega awesome. Punch your face moves. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to heal soon. Come on, you freaky Sesame Street reject. Get out of my way. Winning, winning, punch him in the face. Oh, come on, I took two steps. I took two steps. I think I might have made a mistake coming this far out. I think he's one of the only characters that at this point in the game, like, has, like, very few... Actually, no, has no area of effect moves. I don't think his, like, weird rage punch things hits a bunch of stuff. 250 HP? Nice. Because you're worth it, Nolo. Okay? You're worth it. Could have gotten a butt ton of potions from him if I had a uh, Loki on the team. Also, have any of you guys been seeing those uh, those ads on YouTube for that? Uh, I think it's Final Fantasy 15 mobile game. Is, is that any good? I keep seeing it everywhere, and the commercials look phenomenal. But I mean, like, not to be a dick or anything, but I swear to god they've got the most evil people in the world working on advertisements for mobile games. Like, they always look so bonkers, ridiculous, cool. And then you get there and you realize that, like, 99% of what you saw was either just cinematics or stuff that you could only do after you pump in a bunch of real world, real world money to get in, like, in-game coins or whatever the hell those things are. So... I don't know, if any of you guys have played it and you'd actually suggest it, like, uh, give me a heads up, drop me a line in the comments there or something on Twitter, I don't know. I'd love to, I'd love to check it out, but at the same time, I'm very, very dubious when it comes to these, uh, dubious. I'm very hesitant when it comes to these, these kinds of games. Also, I was kind of just screwing around on, um, uh, on YouTube last night and I saw 
uh, this one like, female YouTuber, I can't remember what her name was, it was just like this cool sound, Rumiko I think, is like this Japanese sounding name. I think her symbol is like a pair of cherries or something, she's playing Final Fantasy VI, but she's doing it for the, the Android or whatever, like the, the Steam version I think she called it. Um, and... Oh, it actually looked decently good. Like, I don't know, I'm, I've already kind of like bashed uh, the... already bashed the... that like, air quotes, finger quotations, remake of Final Fantasy VI. Like, honestly, it just looks like somebody... Oh. Oh. An Imperial camp. There's an awful lot of soldiers here. So... Hey, did you hear? Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean... Shh, keep your voice down. If Kefka catches us, we're toast. Oh, smell genocide. They say Kefka's plotting to drive away General Leo so he can take over his position as general. Don't even joke about something like that. If that freak becomes our general, I'll quit. Shh, what if he hears you? You'll be locked up. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, here he comes. Quick, back to your post. Hey, you! Keep a sharp lookout, hmm? Yes, sir, Kefka, sir. What a pleasant surprise. How are you today, sir? Please spare me your petty small talk. Just do your job. And... Don't let me catch you slacking, or I'll make you regret being born. Well, I don't think he's in a good mood today. Hmm. Like we're gonna listen to you, you pompous little... What's wrong with you? What's wrong with that guy, anyway? It's like General Leo got all the good qualities a man could have, and Kefka got stuck with the rest. You know, this dude's actually not that far from the truth. That's pretty much exactly what happened. But I mean, you can't really hate on Kefka that much. He was one of the first dudes to like volunteer for the Magitek, uh, like magical enhancement. Man, the dude kind of went a little bonkers. Or maybe he was a, a total piece of shit to begin with. I don't really know. Total piece of shit in like an awesome. I love this character kind of way. Of course, I don't mean like total piece of shit like the Emperor. That dude's kind of a piece of shit. He doesn't really do anything. Shh. I just told you to keep it down. How many times are you gonna make me say it? You've gotta be more careful. General Leo may be a decent man, but Kefka, that guy's twisted. Tell me about it. You there. We're about to storm the castle. The two of you will join the assault squad. Get moving. Neat. I guess they're doing a thing with the castle and the stuffs. They're literally just having like 10 dudes running at a castle wall. Wow, great tactics, guys. Let's physically hit the walls. Let's physically hit the walls. Wow. These guys aren't the sh sharpest uh, tools in the Imperial toolbox there. Doman, I like that Doman sentry. It's hopeless. We can't keep them all out. So, this is it. Wait. Oh. Do, 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 do. The battle is not lost yet. A noble warrior of a foreign land, a faithful retainer to his lord and master, he fears not even death. That's gonna be really important for his plot later. Oh, he's the mustachioed man! Mustachio! Hmm. Well, considering his name is Cayenne, and everybody's favorite drink is, uh, a pepper, why don't we just call him... Why don't we just call him... Why don't we... That being you and me, just call this man, whose name was Cayenne, 
Doctor. Dr. Pep. Yeah, Dr. Pep it is. I would call him Dr. Zip, but that doesn't make any sense, because Zip isn't a type of cayenne pepper. That's not funny. That doesn't make any sense. And from now on, call me Doctor. I didn't go to five years of medical school in South Shanghai for nothing. If you can but fell their commander, they should break rank and withdraw. I shall meet him on the field of battle because I am the embodiment of honor. As are all doctors of the pepper variety. Sir Dr. Pep. <laughs> Sir Doc. Call me Sir Doctor. <laughs> Please defeat their commander. What's up? I am Dr. Pepper. Retainer to the King of Doma. Ready thy axe. Bushido! I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and do a four. I'm that kind of man. Bushido! Flurry. Like a McFlurry. Hucha! 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 This is kinda like a Final Fantasy VII's Omni Slash. Final Fantasy VI did it. Final Fantasy VI did it. The captain's been defeated. Retreat! Withdraw it into the castle. We shall wait within its walls while our enemies grow tired without. <sighs> I have to say. Uh, Cayenne, Cyan, Dr. Pepper. Probably one of my favorite characters. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, no, 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 oh god damn it. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, I'm gonna die. Oh jeez, I'm gonna die. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Do I have to fight a Magitek armor? Come on. Come on, man, I don't even remember how to do blitzes. Oh! Neat! Wow. Freaking Nova is way stronger than Loki. Shit. That was uh, that was unexpectedly easy. Let me, let me rob these dudes on here. Do Loki's job for him. <laughs> I should probably heal up just in case. She's mm. a high potion, I guess. Damn, dude, did I just punch a Magitek armor to death? It's nuts. Maybe I should help Dr. Pepper while I'm here. I was kind of just doing this for shits and gigs. I remember there being a house I wanted to go visit before I got here. Good dog. Hey, doggy. What's up, doggo? Bark, 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 well, I'm not sneaking, I wouldn't have petted the doggo. Why would he hurt me? Doggos are so cool. Ow. Stop. Stop. Stop hurting me. I'm doing more damage than the Magitek armor. It's kind of embarrassing. Ow. Stop. I might not survive this. Stop attacking me! Be my friend! BE MY FRIEND! Play dead, Doberman. Oh, he ran away. I still think to this point this is the only enemy that runs away. Hey, star pen. Nice. Probably wasn't worth it. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, let's use a sleeping bag. Because those are always cool. Ooh. 
Let's backtrack back to that house. And then we'll come back here and help Dr. Pepper with whatever he's up to. Man, it's so much harder with only one dude. Oh no, I've got Fury with the guy who just punches things. That might not have been the greatest idea in the world. Amazing these backgrounds look. This is all done with like pixel art and stuff. Like I feel like I can actually go on vacation to the background that these guys are fighting in. Going in the forest, gonna fight a bear. Going in the forest, gonna comb my hair. Stupid catch rabbits. Chipper rabbit. Chippy Rabbit. Whatever that means. God, that bird thing is absolutely terrifying. Now, why would anybody design that? I wonder if Nova's um, kind of following the same principles as the original, um, the original monk, where he's actually stronger with his fists, like bare fists, instead of using uh, a weapon after a point. I can't remember if I ever did that with the original. This to be something to look into, along with learning how to use his blitzes again. Okay, here's the house. Cha. Howdy there. I run a mobile item shop of sorts in these parts. Everyone around here knows me. You've, uh... Not from around here, are you? Well, no matter. Need anything? Dude looks like a... Look like a merchant. He looks like a... a soldier, man. The shurikens would be cool, but... I don't really have a ninja on my team. Just in case. Mmm, good for tents, good for Phoenix Downs. Potions I could probably use like 45 more. Cool. See you around. Well, thanks, bro. That was really nice of you. I'm gonna go murder some of your friends later, so just, you know, don't show up. Don't show up to work tomorrow. Hey, it's a guy. What's up, guy? Hmm? You, clockmaker? I've been waiting for ages. How would you know your clock's broken, doofus? Uh, no. I'm not the clockmaker. I'm Nova, the musclehead Mick Dunderface. There she is, hanging up on that wall over there. Ain't been ticking for a year now. Five years, was it? Shucks. Maybe it's been ten. I don't remember. Um... Okay, where's it? I don't, I don't see a clock. Where's it? What clock? Couldn't provide worse service. Grass is 50 feet high out back. No more lip repair, man. Fix that stove on the double. It'll be on your conscience when I freeze to death. Um, okay. Ouch. Oh, for pity's sake. And you call yourself a repairman causing trouble just like a little kid. A kid? I don't have any kids. Uh, why do you have to bring up kids? Makes me sick just thinking about it. I think it's time for you to leave now. Go on, get. Or you'll- <laughs> Or I'll toss you onto on the belt too. I think this old chocobo's missing a few feathers. Oh, oh jeez, this is that one green-haired kid's dad. I guess he's got dementia or something. You? Another traveler? You don't happen to know how I could get to Narsh, do you? I got separated from my friends. 
The Empire has set up. The Empire has set up a camp beyond the forest to the east. The Empire? What are, you, are they doing here? They seem to have their eyes on Doma Castle. So Doma's next, huh? But I need to get to Narsh right away. Your only road passes through Doma. I can take you there if you'd like. Just know that I may leave you at any time. Take on a traveling companion? Why not? Death is always just a step behind me. Is that what he says to everybody? You know, some people say like, hey, my name's Jim. Hey, my name is Death is always a step behind me. Oh. Okay. You know what, and with that, I feel like uh, the end of the video is only just a step behind us. So, let's end it off here for the night, guys. I hope you guys are having a great summer, you know, getting out there, getting a nice healthy tan, saying hi to all your friends and family, you know, getting some good treats, some good, uh, some good beats up on those headphones. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, hopefully, by the time you see this, or maybe before, Nova will be back and we can start doing some of the big stuff again, like... Uh, uh, Gears of War, and maybe start a new game. I think we were trying to do Final Fantasy 15 together. Um, gotta finish Breath of the Wild. You know, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and uh, yeah, you know, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Peace!